at, at least at least at, at least I had him because he said God is the lifter of men right so if you if you read the same bible in Kiswahili it says Mungu huinua wanyonge kutoka mavumbini na huyo Mungu humfanya fukara na maskini wakaketi meza moja na wafalme and that is the basis of what we are discussing that it is possible for us to lift the jobless to lift the people with small businesses and we can all move together without leaving anybody behind and it is my prayer that god will give us the wherewithal the knowledge the capacity to be able to lift men and women in accordance with his word finally uh, i i haven't said uh, i haven't said anything out of line bishop have i i'm still there but on <laughs> <laughs> Finally, uh, brethren, let me let me challenge you. First by saying thank you very much for praying for us. I know you pray for our country. I know you pray for us as leaders. And when you see me here standing, it's an answered prayer. It confirms if you didn't have any confirmation that your prayers are answered if you look at me then you can see an answered prayer and i want to tell you just like galatians 6 9 and 10 says galatians says uh, chapter 6 and verses 9 do not tire of doing good right for in season you shall reap if we do not faint I want to tell you as church do not tire of doing good continue to pray for our nation Amen. But I also want to tell you uh what chapter 10 or verse 10 of the same chapter says It says while you have opportunity let us do good to all men Right Yes But then it says especially yeah especially yes i don't want to say more than that <laughs> i am telling you to do good to all men but especially to those of the household of faith so that as you pray for this nation pray so that God can raise men and women who know God in the leadership of our nation. That is uh, my very humble request uh, to you as a church. And uh, I want to promise you that we will not let you down. We know what we believe in. and we are unapologetic and we are unashamed of our faith uh bishop said something very profound that we have many of us uh, politicians now coming to church please welcome all of us to church <laughs> 